Here we are at 2890 Avion Street. This is a very nice gated community in Kissimmee, Florida. Uh, like I said before, the traffic in this area is a little heavy. Um, it's not a perfect location, but it's not the worst. Um, there are definitely heavier traffic areas in Kissimmee, Florida. Walking through uh, up to the foyer, there's a nice little patio space, plenty of room for a couple chairs and a table, as you can see. Thank you. And they have this nice stonework on the side of the house. This is uh, an eight foot door with a glass insert. You can see they have blinds on the inside and a keypad, electronic keypad to um, lock the door. Very nice. Uh, right when you walk in, um, there's a guest bedroom to the right and you are greeted by 17 by 17 inch square tiles and nine foot ceilings with knockdown texture. The guest bedroom right here in the front of the house is 11 feet by 11 feet, just about. And it has a bathroom, a shared bathroom with another guest bedroom and a standard size closet right behind the door leading into the bedroom. I'm gonna go ahead and make my way through here. Linen closet to the right in the bathroom, toilet stall area, uh, double basin sink with quartz countertop. Um, the owners are moving out, so there's, you know, there's a lot of stuff in and around. Um, and one thing to point out, by the way, the laminate floor that they have here in this guest bedroom uh, was just changed a couple days ago, and that's why there's tape. Uh, on the threshold here. Um, they put this laminate flooring in a couple days ago. It was carpet. And it looks like they did the same thing on this guest bedroom over here. The tiles in the bathroom are 18 by 18 inch square tiles. They're gray with a little bit of brown and tan mixed in them. The shower is a tile shower. They have six inch by six inch white square tiles. It does not go all the way to the ceiling, um, but it is a sh tub shower combo. Um, yep. Guest bedroom number two is a little bit smaller, about 10 feet by 10 feet, with the laminate wood flooring and the closet right behind the door to get in. And then this brings you right back into the hallway with the front door. Let's just check out what this is right here. Okay, so water heater, no, air conditioner closet, and that's a carrier. Very nice brand AC. And then the door on the other side is the garage door. Two car garage with extra storage along the back side of the wall. Uh, an extra, I'd say about six to eight feet of extra space back there the tile um that is in by the front door continues throughout the most most of the part of the house the common areas stops at all the bedrooms so far and that tile goes through the kitchen So there's a guest bed, a guest bathroom and bedroom in this small hallway right before the kitchen. It has a single basin sink with quartz countertops, white all wood, uh, oh, sorry, no, these are laminate, laminate cabinets. And then a nice size over, oversized shower. Um, this is approximately five feet by five feet um they have these 12 inch by 12 inch square tiles they're gray with a little bit of light gray white inside of them guest bedroom number three and this is a smaller room nine feet by ten feet just about 
laminate wood flooring. Uh, no ceiling fan in this bedroom, just a light fixture. And then a closet as you walk in. And then wrapping around towards the back side of the house, you enter into the dining area, the kitchen here to the left, and family room. Try to get a nice wide angle here. So they have the upgraded 42 inch cabinets all white, uh, laminate cabinets it looks like with the hardware. Yeah, laminate with the hardware. Uh, Whirlpool appliances so far all around. And then the double wide sink, nine inches deep. Granite countertops. They are gray with a little bit of darker gray and black mixed in it. Looks like there's a laundry room on this side of the kitchen with a pantry to the right, a walk-in pantry. Six feet deep and about four feet wide. Laundry room over here. This is a fairly oversized laundry room. Um, as it's got plenty of room for storage. And then walking back here, this wraps around into the master bedroom. Master bedroom has a lot of room in here, about 14 feet wide and about 16 feet long with recessed ceilings, um, tray ceilings, a walk-in closet, very deep walk-in closet, and then the master bath. And master bath has a walk-in shower Master bath has a 12 inch by 12 inch square tile, very similar to the one in the guest bathroom down that hallway with a decorative band across the middle. On the walls, it does not go all the way to the ceiling. And then on the floor, there's six inch by six inch gray tiles with a little bit of white and black mixed in them. They match pretty well. A garden tub. And then double basin sinks with a granite countertop laminate um cabinets um obviously there's a lot of stuff because they're moving and getting prepared to leave toilet stall area so with the stuff that's in here it's hard to grasp the amount of size in here but this is a pretty pretty spacious bathroom it's not too confined i'd say it's about eight feet wide from the shower to the wall and about almost 10 feet yeah 10 feet from the doorway to the the back wall where the mirror is let's go check out the back patio So it's a fenced in yard and the covered space is pretty large. We got about 11 feet from the back, from the wall. And then it's about 15 feet wide. So the yard is relatively small. It's not like the largest yard ever, um, but it's all fenced in, which is nice. You got some bushes on the right side here and the fence basically stops right at the back edge of the, the house where the patio is and then on the side of the house there so anyways that's this house 
I will talk to you soon.